Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the finger by native instruments. The finger provides more than 40 effects including real-time samplers. Uh, so you're able to re loop, rearrange, reverse, scratch, um, add filters, gates, delays, reverbs, or even distortion to your audio or MIDI file. Now I have my audio file pulled up right here and that's what I'm going to be processing with the finger. The first thing that I want to do is go ahead and create a new MIDI, MIDI channel with our reactor player on it. So I'm just going to hit create. Second thing will be opening up reactor and selecting the finger plugin from it. And now what we're going to want to do is route the output of which I had this already routed on there. Sorry about that. Um, but what we want to try to do now is route the output from your audio channel. It also could be a MIDI channel that you're going to be processing with the finger. So you would go ahead and select, I'm going to choose bus one. And as soon as you do that, you're going to see that it's going to create an aux channel, which honestly, you don't need that for this purpose. So just go ahead and hit delete anyways and now go back to reactor player and go ahead and choose the for side chain you want to choose whatever output you're using of the file that's being processed and as you see up here we are getting signal in and out so that's a good sign next step will be is going through some of the presets, seeing what you like or not. Uh, the way that I'm triggering the effect is I have my kitty MIDI keyboard in front of me and I'm hitting one note on it and that's triggering the effect. Another way that you are able to do that too is if you um, open up your piano roll and you can Play some of these notes and see what you like on there and then you can go ahead and like draw put put the note in that you think sounds good or not or whatnot but i think it's just a lot easier just using a midi keyboard and playing it like that um so right now i'm just gonna go through some of the presets and see what they sound like and just take it from there uh this twist o -matic one is pretty cool I, I like that one, so what I'm gonna do is um, hit record. So with that one, it just kind of pans it from side to side. And you can keep on building from effects to effects, and let's see. Let's delete this one. Let's go ahead and try another preset. I like the replayer. It's another good one that I usually use on some of my songs. So as you see, I mean, this plugin is incredible as far as doing all your loops and getting some of those cool glitches that you hear nowadays. Boom, and there you have it and just want to show you guys what it you know it would sound like when you bring other elements inside that so that's how you set up the finger by native instruments